Right now I'm in a lot of pain. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm in, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm in a lot of pain. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I was doing laundry just now. I just left like 30 minutes ago to do my laundry. And my back just started paining me. Started paining me like crazy. <laughs> And right now, from a scale from one to ten, it's about an eight right now. Eight and a half. Oh my god. I rush home to take two painkillers. I'm feeling so sick right now. I'm the only one home. I haven't had pain like this in a long time. I can't really stay still. And what you guys are witnessing here right now is the first hand. The first hand view of a sickle cell crisis. It is very painful. Very, very, very painful. Very painful. Very painful. I rushed home. I took two painkillers. Right now, the pain is going down my spine. It's right at the bottom of my lower back. Um, uh, I started drinking some water. The pain is also in my joints by my elbow. It's a lot of pain. A lot of pain. And if this pain continues, I'm feeling the pain moving to my knees. This is very serious. This is very serious. Just last week, Friday, today is Wednesday, today is Tuesday actually. And just last Friday, I went to see my, my doctor for, for a checkup. And on um, my heart was a little, the heart break was, was not too normal. Normally when I'm in, in, in a crisis, any sickle cell patient in a crisis, I think the pain that I was feeling a minute ago, they would probably call the ambulance to go to the hospital. But I don't know why I just accept this kind of pain. Most of them I don't take no painkillers at all, but this pain was really, really one of the worst. I'm feeling very sick right now because I take the painkillers. I didn't think I ate anything today as yet. Um, I've been drinking a lot of water lately though. For the past couple of days I've just been drinking water because I've been in and out of pain. But it wasn't to this stage that you just saw me. And um, uh, it's about 1.55 p.m. September 13th. And I, I just mentioned to you I was doing my laundry and I have to go do some blood work today because tomorrow, which is Wednesday, I have to do blood transfusion. Being in pain like this, I don't know if I'm going to make it to the hospital to do blood work. Uh, if this pain continues, I might just have to go to the hospital to check myself into the ER, which and that's something I haven't done in years, many, many, many years. Normally, I just go to the hospital for my treatments. Oh my, Jesus, oh, I've been living with this disease for the past 24 years, um, I always wear the sickle cell band, sickle cell disease, uh, we're raising awareness, uh, Jesus, I don't want to call my mom right now because she's on vacation and I don't want to worry her. But um, she would become very, very worried if she know I'm in pain like this right now. I don't want to worry. I could call my brother because he have the same disease as me. Um, I don't want to worry anybody. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this camera off right now. I'm just going to go into the shower, which is, this is something that normally works for me. Sit down, let the hot water from the shower run on my back. I may even sit down and soak in the bathtub. Oh, Jesus. And by then, I think the painkillers should set in. 
this paint is bad guys it's bad I know you guys never seen me in paint like this never seen me in paint like this I've been vlogging for a long time started in my first channel that I created in 2007 um, talking about six cell disease um, but I'm going to be okay I promise you I'm a warrior I'm a fighter I'm gonna come out of this pain right now but um God is still good in spite of because mm, 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 mm. in spite of this pain I'm feeling I know God is good <sighs> Jesus oh. I don't think you guys understand how I'm feeling right now I don't think nobody understands I true I, I sickle cell survivor, I, somebody who suffer from this disease, who been going through pain crisis, can only sympathize with me. They could truly understand the type of pain that's going through my body right now. This is indescribable. It's indescribable. Sickle cell disease is a horrible disease. It affects a lot of African American um, individuals and is a terrible disease. I won't wish this on my worst enemy. I'm telling you, I won't wish this on nobody. I'm gonna roll with the punches, accept this. I'm feeling a little hot right now, but I don't want to turn on the AC because the coolness on my skin is gonna cause me to be in pain. I'm gonna turn on the AC, but I'm gonna put it on the fan. Oh my god. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys later. And this is here from Andy's TV. Keep me in your prayers. I'm gonna see you guys later. Do this. Hey y'all. Uh, I'm back. Um, the last time I came here was about three or four hours ago. I was in excruciating pain from my sickle cell disease. Um, I actually just came back from the doctor. After I leave you guys, what I did, I took off my clothes and I went into the shower and let the hot water run on my back. The painkillers actually work very fast for me because I don't want me to take it. Um... That's why I don't really take painkillers for like normal pains because I know when this pain hit me that I can't ba bear it. I'm gonna have to take some Tylenol. So I took the painkillers. Um, we're about to get my clothes from the laundry, and I had to hurry up and reach to the hospital and did some blood work. And tomorrow morning I have to go do blood transfusion. But right now, I just came back, and right now I'm feeling a little pain in my chest area, my whole chest, and my back. As you can tell from my eyes, I look very tired and very fatigued. So right now I'm going to go take some rest before I start doing my activity, cleaning the house and stuff like that. I don't know. But um, just keep me in your prayers and keep... My brothers and sisters who suffer from sickle cell disease close to your heart because this is a very painful disease. And um, at times it's, it's deadly too. I mean, let's face reality. Um, but thank God that everything worked out fine today. And in case you guys didn't know, this month is Sickle Cell Awareness Month. How ironic that I got sick on Sickle Cell Awareness Month. But, um... I'm going to be feeling a, a lot better because I had something to eat. I'm just feeling a little tired because of the painkillers and the pain is just making my body very weak right now. But I thank you guys for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video. I'm putting my life out there for you guys to see. And um, it's hard at times, but I want you guys to know the reality of this disease. It's, it's very serious and uh, uh, and the message needs, needs to get out. Let's, let's help find a cure for sickle cell mania. See you guys later.